coming to you from a brisk evening here at Epcot in Orlando. It is 53 degrees, and with the wind chill, you don't have wind chill in Florida too often. With the wind chill, it's uh, 45, and tonight's supposed to be wind chill in the 30s. So it's going to be downright cool. We're here in the evening because we have dinner tonight at Tap and Edo. So we're going to head over to Tap and Edo in the World Showcase and have some dinner over there. It's been a long time since we've been to Tap and Edo, huh? Yes, it's been years. Years and oh, years and years. Oh my goodness. So we're going to go over, get a reservation, and uh, we'll check it out. So come along with us, will you? We're not really going to walk around the countries too much as we've done all that already. And uh, we'll just see what we bump into or see along the way. So we're going to head on over and uh, we'll be there in a few minutes. Try to get another shot of it at night because it's beautiful out The new fountain here at Epcot. Reminiscent of, or actually, pretty much identical to the original one back in the early 80s. They took that a long time ago. It's really nice. Yeah, tonight we'll try to get a shot as we leave with the light shining straight up skyward, which is pretty cool. We're outside of uh, Gardens of the Galaxy, the new attraction, the roller coaster. And this is the entrance queue. They're still working. They haven't made progress. There's some plywood in there. And the solar panels are going back up. When you're the solar panels are going to be every other tier instead of every tier that they used to be. So, as you can see, Construction Inventions East is moving right along. Put the glass windows back in inside the construction of the new store is moving ahead nicely once they seal that up construction inside will go really quick so it's good to see and you can get that center section open over there again so you'll walk straight through from the front gates i understand when they took the glass out they actually stored the glass because it was so i guess complex to make these pieces so they held them they stored them they put them back in some more of the chalk art oh the beauty and the beast is brightly colored look at this one that's cool, huh? The Beauty and the Beast one? That's pretty. It's done by Lee. This is Lee again. She must do the Disney work, Lee. Donald and Stitch is so bright and colorful. He must have been done just recently. Yep. He looks really good, huh? There you go. Beautiful uh, lighthouse. Lighthouse. Yeah. They're so bright and colorful. They must be freshly done today, yesterday. Look at that, how blue that is. They put those little plastic things on them anyway, at oh, night. Oh, they cover them at night? Yep, every okay. night. After Homer. So we're coming up on the Japan Pavilion. Just going to show you a shot across the lagoon. You got some Disney ducks in here? Oh, some mallards. Hey, guys. Find anything? Can't feed you. Not allowed. The water's, the water's cold. cold. I'm in. Ooh, Last one in's a rotten egg. It's cold. I'm spreading. Yeah, look at him. I'm not going in there. It's too cold, he says. We're coming up on the Japan Pavilion here in World Showcase. This is where we're going to go for dinner. There's the restaurant up there. The restaurant we're going to tap into is actually it's two restaurants. It's a Japanese table service restaurant, and it's the hibachi restaurant, which we're going to. So it's, it's two. We've eaten at the table service restaurant before during Illuminations, actually. We have a beautiful view of Illuminations out there. This is the very famous Japanese department store, Mitsukashi. They've been around for centuries, actually. We'll look around in here for a few minutes until it's time to go for our dinner. So I used to have the large pick a pearl. Where you picked your own pearl, your jewelry. Rubber ball, Sunkyo toys. This place is huge. We actually bought some chopsticks here a while ago, some nice ones. All kinds of Japanese toys and things. Dragon Ball Z. We have shirts. Nintendo little guys. Intricate wooden puzzles. Mammoth. There's a clock, a wooden clock. Please do not touch. The train. Flying machine, like from Journey to Imagination. There's the pendulum clock, and there's the actual train itself. Oh, here you can see the flying machine. Not for sale, assembled, I'm sure. That's pretty cool, though. And you can see the pick your own pearl area is currently closed. But eventually, this will be where you can pick your own pearls again. Right from the oyster, pick the oyster, and inside will be the pearl. <laughs> Umbrellas or parasols. Sushi Master. <laughs> Japanese t shirts. Very cool. And fans for cooling, self cooling. Manual fans. Beautiful different ones. 
you find by the number below, pick out the fan. These are fragrances of incense, incense fragrances. Lucky kitties with the one paw up in all different colors and styles. Monkey heads too. Little samurai swords, that's very cool. Ninja swords there. There's a whole dress up kit for your doll, a ninja costume. More lucky kitties, waving paw, bonsai trees. And bonsai 101. Gotta grow your own bonsai and care for them. Here's the foodstuffs marketplace. Soup and dim sum bowls. They change this around. The food stuff used to be up front. Japanese candy. Super cola. Ooh, cola. Oh, noble. And they are hard. So they like a gumball or maybe a jawbreaker. And these are hard candies. Super lemon with the super cola. And here's the drinks. These are the drinks that have the glass bead in them, I believe. I don't remember correctly how those work. They have a glass bead in them. Candy. Here's some hockey. Another candy. Got some dried fish here once. Gave it to a co worker. He ate it. Here is the chopstick center. This is where we did get our chopsticks. It's set up a little different when we got ours. Up top, you can see them. They can style sometimes. It's like picking out a wand at Harry Potter land. The chopsticks are nice. And down below, you find them. All different kinds and colors. Very personal choice of chopsticks, I guess. Each one uh, is imbued to its uh, user. It calls to them and draws them out, so the user knows which chopsticks are theirs. Much like the Harry Potter wand. No, I'm kidding. These are just chopsticks. You pick the ones that you like. It's like having your favorite fork or spoon at home. They are very cool. There's some bright pink ones. Very bright pink ones. But we saw the ninjas on the other side. These are the samurai with their swords. They're a bigger, longer sword in the sheath. They're pretty cool. There's more of the ninjas down there. And here they are here. You choose the number you want. And it's got a box and a number on the box. You put it together. What's the price on those? They are $32.95. I think it's about time to head upstairs and have our dinner at Tapanito. So let's go on upstairs and have some good hibachi tonight, shall we? Come on, let's go. So I'm back in the garden area here outside. Look at that tall tree, the way I have that shape. It's almost like a giant bonsai. That's incredible. Definitely has the feeling of you're in Japan, that's for sure. I know there's a quick serve restaurant up there too, which is kind of good. This is the Katsuhuri Grill, which is the quick serve restaurant up on the hill up there. You see their menu. What do they have? Sushis and noodles. That's the Katsuhuri Grill, the quick service. Let's take a look at the pretty koi fish. Look at the size of those koi. Koi are very expensive fish, and I cannot imagine them the value of these fish they have here. Look at the size of these things. They are huge, and there's so many of them. They must be chilly, because it's cold out here tonight. That water must be really cold. Wow. Look at the koi fish, huh? I was saying they must be chilly. The water must be cold. They must be. And this is what happens when you let a goldfish get to the size of its bowl. <laughs> Something like that. A koi are very expensive fish. I can't they imagine the value in these. They're beautiful though, huh? They are. I don't they're all waiting. Yeah, they think we're going to feed them. It must be supper time. Must be close to feeding time. That's a lot of koi. Right down here at the edge. Yep, they're all waiting. <laughs> all right, so we're going to go on inside and we'll see you at dinner at our dinner. Pepinito. So this is the dining selections. They have it in a few different kind of languages, which is nice. This is the first time I've seen that. I just want to see what they have for dinner. We are all checked in, so we're just waiting now.
Quite a view. We're on the second floor. Cherry blossoms are in blossom. Tapanito. Tokyo Dining. Here we go. Thank you. As you can see, Tokyo Dining is closed still. And we're headed over to Tap and Edo. Our hostess. Thank you. <laughs> if I receive you, the grill is ready to get over 500 daily very, very hot. So please be careful not to touch the grill. Okay. Please walk around the table behind the chair with the sign for yourself. Very good. We have a number of hibachi rooms, each one capable of a minimum of four hibachi grills at once, and they look very busy. So I count 12 tables so far. I'm going to get 16. They have the ability to do. 20 hibachi tables at once. We're seated here at our table, and this is the QR code to scan to see their menu to pick your dining selection. So feel free to freeze the video and take that shot right there, and you can figure out right, there. Right, right. Okay, how are we doing today? Good? Wonderful. My name is Oswald, and I'll be taking care of you today, okay? Thank you, Oswald. Excellent. Can we go forward? Welcome. Any questions? Do we have any allergies on the table? No allergies. Very good. I'll give you fresh wipes for your hands. Right, so it's a cucumber salad with seaweed. So it's a simple salad, comes with each meal. And the hot tea is served right there. So we'll try the cucumber salad. So the cucumber salad tastes like half sour pickles, to be honest with you. And you have some seaweed. I have some seaweed. I'm going to see how it tastes. Thank you. I ate it in the sushi. We're not a huge seaweed fan. How was it? Tasteless? Kind of tastes. <laughs> it's like the vinegar dressing. Yeah, so it's vinegar dressing, but it's good. Yep. Uh, you know, the girl is very, very hot. You How's everyone doing here today? Very good. Yeah, it's a little chilly day. Yeah, it is chilly. Magic. 
The scallops. And the scallops are delicious. Are they really good? Yes, they're melting your mouth. They're beautiful, beautiful scallops. Yeah. Okay, so the meals were very good. We'll pay for our meals and then we'll head on outside. The food was really, really good. I liked it a lot. Very good. They use a new. They do noodles instead of uh, hibachi rice for some reason, which is fine. It's just a little different than you used to at your hibachi restaurant. But it's good. Okay, hey, they put behind us. How about that, huh? Yeah. We were in Japan. So dinner was fine. Dinner was excellent. No problems. No complaints there. Um, it's Disney, so it's a little pricey. You know, expect that compared to your local hibachi restaurant. One thing we did find out. 
There's no Tables in Wonderland discount here. It's only taken at lunchtime here. I was unaware of that. So Tables in Wonderland at dinner is a no-go. So if you use that, uh, lunchtime and no only. DVC, and no DVC, and there's annual no pass. annual pass. Right, so no discounts in the evenings at Teppanito. No discounts. So uh, Tables in Wonderland, lunchtime only. So. Lunchtime. With that, we're going to wrap it up. If you like we do, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe. You know, we noticed uh, looking at our statistics for uh, YouTube is that over 80% of our viewers are not subscribers. So guys, come on, subscribe to the channel. I think we bring good content to you. And you know when we put more videos up. So hit that button below and subscribe to us and we'd appreciate it. All right, folks, take care. Remember, don't be average. Try to hop that boat over in Morocco. All right. Let's go hop the boat. Well, we won't hop on the boat. That's not safe, but we'll get on the boat. The little boots outside all have their little warmers going here. There, yes, it's that's so pretty cold. cool. It may not be cold for up north, but for down here, for down here, it's a little chilly. Wind chills in the 30s tonight. Pets in, bring your plants in. Bring <laughs> your pets and plants, and if your plants are your pets, bring them in. There we go. The little heater is going. Wow! And they go straight up to infinity and beyond. The end to a perfect evening.